Oh, it's a cold day here today, and we've been asked to go and have a look, go and have a look at a boat called Frida. Uh, we'll get on our little uh, work boat and take us out there. We'll do a lap or two around the boat, and then I'll sit on the boat, and I'll tell you all about her. Right, I'm on the boat, and uh, we've come out here it's quite simply to find out whether or not Frida, this little boat I'm sat on here today, is a scrapper, or whether we can find a new owner for her. Frida's a, uh, a sort of a copy of an old classic. She's a gaff rigged classic design, heavy lead keel, only draws a meter apparently, so you can ground her without any problems at all if that's the sort of sailor you are. Uh, and uh, she's sort of been looked after over the years and uh, you know, right up to date, um, she was okay. Her owners have decided to part ways with her and that's why I'm here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you around the boat and you decide whether we should scrap her or we keep her and hopefully find someone like you to buy her. Well, I'm climbing in. Now I'm six foot tall. So obviously the first issue we've got is if you're as tall as me, you're never gonna be standing up in this boat. However, look past that. Let's have a look inside. My word, as I, as I step into this boat, it doesn't smell damp. It smells of classic boat. But a lovely big table. And sitting here, I'm surrounded by teak. There's a, there's a lovely heater there. Electronics, radio, navigation, paperwork. There's a set of sails down there. A little head up front and somewhere to sleep. There's another half bunk back there and a little um, little paraffin heater just here. Well, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I expected her to be quite stinky and rotten and bad. Now, don't get me wrong, she's not perfect. Clearly she could do with a bit of TLC. A good bit of fresh paint wouldn't go amiss. Nice tea coil here. Certainly these windows are not leaking, that's good. There's no damp flooring or anything. So, you know, first impressions of this boat are, it's great. However, what tends to let these boats down is that when they're old, although this isn't that old, 1989, when they're old, if the engine's 1989 as well, what does that make it? That makes it sort of 40 odd years old, the engine. So then you've got to decide whether you put a five, 6,000 pound engine in the boat or you decide to sort of get rid of her. Maybe we're at that stage. So, engines behind the ladder that I walked down. I'm going to have a go at exposing her. Oh, nice, nice little brass fittings there. Let me put this ladder over here. So, the moment of truth. Wish me luck. Oh, my word. I think all my Christmases have come true. It almost looks brand new. Two cylinder beater by the looks of things. Oh my word, there's a little note on this. 47, it was last, there's like an oil change. I can't see why it's had an oil change, but it's had one at 47 hours back in 2021. So that must have been its first service. Well, I'm excited to see if it runs. Let me put that over there. Let's um, open some sea cops up. make sure there's the batteries. Oh, switch all these, get all there. Batteries are good. Yeah, that's good. Um, excuse me while I clamber out. I've got the key. I'll stick it in. Chances are I'm gonna have a flat battery at least. Make noise. Word. Just check to make sure there's water coming in there. Yeah, it's a little bit delicate to see my arse, is it? But there you are. Sorry about that. Yeah, water's coming out. Uh, what a sweet little engine. Let's see if it goes in gear. Oh, that's 
to come indoors. It's a bit cold out there. So first impressions, the outsides, as you can see by the earlier shot of when we went around her, she looks fantastic. She's real lovely classic lines. She's got, as far as I can see, almost a new engine here, runs, starts on the button. I don't know when it was last started, but it's clearly not gonna need a lot of attention. I have noticed though, there are some bits that do need attention. I did allude to that earlier. And when, when we look in the corner of this, someone's had a go at putting a bit of filler here. There's obviously a bit of damp in this corner, but this is this is a corner that would attract sort of bits of water. So you're gonna get a little bit of issue here, but you know what? It's not rotten, it just needs a bit more work. And, and looking around, you've, you've got, you know, you, you, you've really just got drying out a little tiny bit of old, very old mildew. Um, I suspect if I lick that, there you go. See, it's, it's, it's not that bad. It needs a good clean and a bit of a wash. Even the lights, which are proper, sorry, the, even these, they're proper brass elements. This is great. I love this sort of thing. And you know what? Someone will really appreciate a boat like this. She's pretty, she's quirky, she's a gaff rig. I think she's even eligible for some of these old classic races, you know, a classic gaff rig races. Um, she's clearly a head turner. And you know what? We need to find somebody out there who wants her. So as a surveyor, I've had a quick walk around the decks on this boat and uh, any decent surveyor in their right mind would walk the decks of a boat when you, you're trying to appraise a vessel and feel for creaks, cracks, or sort of softness or fluctuation in the deck. It's great, it's hard as rock. Um, there's no obvious damage up here at all. She just needs a paint. Um, I would give this a really good, healthy, healthy sort of positive thumbs up. Um, looking around the deck though, the, the old owner's been and done everything right. He's even, he's even created beautiful rope bundles here. You've got lovely brass fittings everywhere. You've got even got a lovely hatch here with proper brass. You imagine if you spend a bit of time and effort cleaning and polishing this boat, she will be a head turner. Up front, you've got a bow sprit. That bow sprit will extend once you, you set the boat up to rig. That'll go out a further six feet. But, but really quite a great design is that we're able to pull the bow sprit in so that when um, we're in a marina, we're only paying for our true length which is about 25 feet, maybe a bit more, maybe something along those lines. She's not big. Obviously with a bow sprit out, that's probably 35 feet long. But she's got two rollers on the front so that you can you can reef her, her inner and outer genoa. She's got a gaff rig here, lovely brown sails underneath all of this. So it really goes and matches the type of classic design that this is, although based on a 1934 model, she's a 1989 boat. So she's quite a modern boat with old looks. Everywhere you look, she's got it right. There's brass fittings everywhere. There's no Chinese looky-likey brass. There's nothing wrong with this boat. We found all the stanchions and all the guardrails. They're there in the back of the boat, so we could refit all of those, or you can, so that at least you've got some safety and security so you don't fall over the side when you're at sea. And fundamentally, ladies and gentlemen, what a lovely boat. One thing I forgot to say, I should clarify this. This has got all the classic lines of a, a beautiful old fashioned boat, but she's fiberglass with a wooden deck. So you've got all the benefits of the old with the modern technology of a decent hull, a decent engine, lovely modern sails, even modern electronics in the boat, but made to look like she's 80 years old.